Hi friends, welcome back to Concepts of Geology. We are meeting again after a long time. Hope you are doing well. In this session, Concepts of Geology has appeared with a sub-branch of geology that is the crystallography. This is actually a subject of material science or solid state physics. But broadly saying, we are using it as a tool for mineral identification and that's why we need to learn the basic principle of the subject. As the name is suggesting, this is the study of crystals. Now, what is a crystal? A crystal is a piece of homogeneous solid having a definite, highly ordered internal arrangement of constituents which results in a regular external geometric form bounded by symmetrically arranged faces. Okay? From our geologic point of view, Crystals are naturally occurring and inorganically formed. At the very introductory class of economic geology, in the context of ore, we concluded the definition of mineral as a naturally occurring solid substances having definite chemical composition and ordered internal atomic arrangement. Now, very obviously, when we are using some particular elements, suppose sodium, potassium, calcium, silicon, aluminum, etc., to construct a particular mineral and that too in an ordered atomic arrangement, so clearly the resulted mineral should have a particular external appearance. Okay, and you know, indeed, most of the minerals grow in some particular crystal subs. Okay, please concentrate on the picture here, look fluorite have a definite shape, pyrite have a definite shape, beryl, quartz, rhodochrosite, scrolls, all minerals are having some definite external appearances. Okay, that's why geologists have borrowed the learning of basic crystallography from the solid state physics or material science as it can be used to identify the crystalline minerals. Furthermore, we need to learn the subject for understanding of optical mineralogy in which we study the interaction of light with the minerals in atomic level. Okay? The interaction of light and matter happens due to the presence of atoms within it and this is largely depends on uh, their internal distribution. Okay? This is also a directional property within the crystal or suppose within the mineral as there may have directional dependency of the atomic distribution inside the mineral or the crystal. Okay, In that case, the traveling light beam through the crystalline mineral will feel different environments in different directions of propagation and accordingly the optical behavior will be manifested. So again, this demands a crystallographic knowledge of the geologist to understand the optical properties of the minerals. Very clearly I know we have a desire to learn the subject but most of us feel allergic to read it from books as it is a huge subject and not very easy to communicate. So I have made a concise and comprehensive syllabus for the crystallography which will be covered in a sequence of classes in this online platform. First let's concentrate on the syllabus which we are going to learn in the entire session. I have divided the entire course of crystallography into five modules. Okay? In the module 1, we will learn the distribution of atoms inside a crystal. That means the concept of unit cell, the choice of unit cell, the concept of plane lattices, space lattices, okay? different crystal systems, etc. In module 2, we will deal with the crystallographic measurements. That means the measurements of the points, the measurements of the line and the planes within a crystal, their symbolization and their identification. Okay? In module 3, we will see the result of the module 1 within a crystal. That means the manifestation of the distribution of atoms inside a crystal. What is this? This is the external symmetry of the crystal. Okay? Here we learn the symmetry elements, the symmetry operations inside a crystal. For example, suppose the presence of mirror plane, the presence of rotational symmetry, the presence of roto inversional symmetry, etc. etc. The next one is module 4, where we learn the stereographic projections. That means the two dimensional representation of a three dimensional object. Okay? Here we will represent a three dimensional crystal into a plane of paper. 
module 5 will be the x-ray crystallography where we will learn the principles how we measure the this tiny distances among these atoms and how we decipher the internal symmetries inside a crystal okay so this is all about the syllabus of crystallography which we will going to cover today i don't want to uh, enter in deep on the next class we will start the module 1 that is the distribution of atoms inside a crystal so keep following and stay tuned thank you for watching